All right, guys. I'm a. It's 2019. It is November or December the 6th, and I am fixing to set my first traps of the year. I haven't set any this year because of deer season and working and all kinds of stuff. I haven't had time to set any traps, so I didn't have time to go buy any lure or anything. So I went and picked up a dead deer off the highway, which is nasty stinking rotten and all kinds of stuff but either way i uh i got it and i quartered it up cut the legs off of it cut the head off the body i'm gonna use it for bait we can use it as long as you keep it buried or covered up or have eagles and hawks and stuff like that you can't see it so i'm gonna keep it all covered up and use that for bait today i'm setting uh i got bridger number Number three, so number twos, dog proof traps, four coil. I've got earth anchors, all chain. Mainly I'm targeting coyotes and possibly bobcats. Most likely all I'll catch is a bunch of possums. But these traps did be pretty good in the past. So I'm hoping that'll hold one. I've had a couple coyotes get off in the last couple years for stupid reasons. One, the uh, seat clip that held the trap to the chain came unscrewed and it took the trap and another one pulled the stake up out of the ground and it took the trap so I went to earth anchors chain all the way to the trap tack welded now it's pretty solid so here's my setup I've got the main party of the deer right there I'm gonna set my trap bed right in here Cover it up and make it look good, hopefully. So, once I get going, I'll turn the video on and video it and see how it works out. Alright, so, I've got my trap bed set right here. You want to take your hammer or whatever it is that you use. Make sure it's a good solid bed. You want to place your trap down inside the bed fill it up with light dirt make sure no rocks get in there if you have a pan cover put a pan cover over it and make sure it's solid what I use is peat moss which is you can get it in the gardening section shit looks like this it's like a light debris put that down there around the cracks that way if you don't get no rocks or nothing like that set in there and if a coyote or something steps on it, it won't fire off. So, I'm going to go ahead and set the trap, bury it, get everything covered up, and then I'll show you what the after looks like. Alright guys, and I'm done with this first set. I'll show you what the aftermarket looks like. There it is. So, the whole point is for the coyote or the bobcat or whatever it is to walk up through here. They're not going to walk on these sticks like this and this. They're going to try to walk the easiest path of resistance. So they're going to walk right up this path. And right here is my trap. I tried to get it blended in as best as possible. They're gonna go up there and try to eat on that. When they do, hopefully the back foot or front foot, one of them will go snapped right there. And when I come back in here tomorrow, I'll have me a coyote or a bobcat. Most likely it'll probably be a possum because that's what I always catch. Catch lots of possums. So anyway, we'll go on to the next trap, next set, and see what we can do over there. All right, guys, I got my third trap set. Uh, this one I kind of set it up for bobcats. I got a big old brushy field like that. There's a fence line coming this way and a fence line coming this way. So right here is the corner. There's a road right here. It's a good access trail. I got a feather here for an indicator. Or not an indicator, but a sight magnet for the bobcat. And if you look up in there, got a piece of deer meat wire to that tree with the trap set there and those rocks keeping anything from getting to it on the sides. So I've caught two bobcats here one time in one week. Last year I didn't catch any but I have before so we'll see what happens this time. Alright guys here's another set. There's an old road going down through here. An old road going right on down through there. Cedar tree. Got a deer leg on it. Traps buried right there. So, 
maybe it'll bring me good good luck. I never have caught any right here, which then again, I've never really set any traps here. But it's thick, nasty, probably a pretty good place for a bobcat. The only thing I'm worried about is the neighbors around have got some dogs. My luck, one of them will come over here and get in this and end up catching them. Last year I caught, caught the guy who owns the place dog and somebody else's dog. Good part is, it doesn't hurt them. Uh, offset jaws, I mean, it'll bruise them up for a little bit, but they're fine. Both dogs are running around with no problem. So, we shall see. Hopefully, we'll move on to the next one. All right, set my last trap. I think I've set one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven of them today. Here's my last one. There's the set. Bunch of brush to keep the birds from getting to it. So it's down here in a valley. There's a big old ravine down here. Bunch of brush. So maybe a maybe a cat will come through here, heading down there. So either way, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, folks, we're checking the trap line for the first time today. It'll be the first trap line I've set this year, and it's the first day checking it. I'm coming with Wade and Adeline. Say hi. Hi. That's hi. my kids. Those wanting to go, they love trapping. They say it's a blast. Watch out, Adeline, the branches will get you. So, we are gonna go drive up in here and see if we caught anything. We got seven traps set. We don't have a very big line, but we don't go very far back in this property. It's an 80 acre chunk of woods, but we haven't checked at all. Well, very first set we come to, we got a bobcat. It's a pretty good looking bobcat too. So, hey be still. I'm gonna dispatch it and then we'll turn the camera back on. Well folks, got us a good Missouri bobcat. That's a heck of a cat too. It's a good one. Yeah. First trap we checked. Yeah. Caught him on the deer carcass. See the tree set. So, yeah. starting off to be a good year. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Yep, walking down to check the next strap. First, first one had the bobcat in it. The second one didn't have anything in it. I've got one, two more to check on this stretch. And then there's three over on the other side. So. I'm sure we'll end up with a possum or something here in a minute. Well, I got to the next trap, the one with the little turkey feather. And we got us a stupid possum. Oh, he looked excited. So, we'll get him out of there. Alright, folks, now we got us a possum. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Alright, so we got a possum, we got a bobcat, and we got two more traps to check. Yeah. We'll go see what we can get this time. Alright, we checked the other three traps and there was nothing. So we got a bobcat and a rack or a possum the first day. We got probably leave them up for about a week. So every day we'll come out here and check them. And see if we can't catch us a coyote or some more bobcats. So that's my trapping partners today. They'll be in school and daycare the rest of the week, which they might come with me in the morning, Sunday. So. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll bring you some more trapping stuff. Yeah.